Hey there guys, this is Cole. Welcome back to another video. Finally recording another movie review. Uh, today I reviewed Dr. No, the first James Bond movie. Now, since I reviewed the first, might as well review the second because why not? Uh, and that is the sequel with Sean Connery called From Russia With Love. And uh, now I do like this movie. But I don't, a lot of people hail this as being better than the first movie. Now, I do like this movie, but I do not agree with people that say it's better than the first movie. But nonetheless, I still think this is a pretty good sequel and a pretty good continuation of the James Bond franchise. But uh, before I get any further into this video, if you have seen From Russia With Love, I want to know your thoughts on this movie in the comment section down below. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Or are you somewhere in the middle? Or is this your favorite James Bond movie? Is it your least favorite? Is it the best Sean Connery one or whatnot in your opinion? Just uh, before we get any further, just let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And uh, now I do, again, like I said, I do like From Russia With Love. It's a good movie. But I do not agree with people that say it's better than the first movie. But, uh, so, and like I said, you know, like, I like the Sean Connery era of James Bond movies and stuff like that. Like, uh, Sean Connery was the original James Bond, and I miss Sean Connery. He was such a good actor. He died back in 2020 at the age of 90. He'll be missed. He was a legendary actor. Sean Connery is one of the best actors, and... Like I said, I've always enjoyed Sean Connery. Uh, I like The Rock, the Michael Bay movie with him and Nicolas Cage. I like The Rock. The Rock, if you ask me, The Rock, that's my favorite Sean Connery movie. The Rock is my favorite Sean Connery movie. And then number two would be the number two would be Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, the third Indiana Jones, because he was in that movie. And then number three would be The Hunt for Red October. Number four would be Outlander, and number five would be Outlands from 1981. But this would be, this would, however, be in my list of my top 10 best Sean Connery movies. But, uh, but I mean, I know almost two minutes into the review, and I'm not in, and I'm not talking about the plot to it, but, you know. So when Dr. No came out, like I said in my previous review, when Dr. No came out, Sean Connery did not want to do the role originally because Sean Connery knew for a fact that it would not just be a one-off movie. And initially, that was the plan. James Bond was supposed to be only one movie with Dr. No. But they paid Sean Connery enough money. The movie was a big hit. Everybody loved Dr. No. It was critically acclaimed. And it made enough money to where they continued the story and sequels and stuff like that. But, um... Uh, but so what's the plot and story from Russia with Love? Uh, so one thing I like that from Russia with Love does well, one element I like about this movie, it, it directly continues the story at the end of Dr. No, because if you've seen the James Bond movie, Dr. No, you would remember that I said in my review that Dr. No, the bad guy, dies at the end of the movie. However... In this movie, we have a bad guy named Number One, and Number One, it, Number One is upset that you know Doctor No is dead. So, because of that, of uh, the group, of uh, the Spectre, you know, the Spectre, the uh, the group of assassins called the Spectre, uh, Number One sends an assassin after James Bond, and the assassin is actually played by uh, the assassin is played by Robert Shaw, who actually played Quint in the movie Jaws, and. Jaws is one of my absolute favorite movies of all time. So it's like, okay, you know, I love the movie Jaws. It's cool to see that. It's cool to see Quint himself from the movie Jaws. It's cool to see him do a role he did before Jaws. And it's like, just like a simple, it's a simple cat and mouse game. Like throughout the whole movie, it's like, it's like James Bond and, you know, the enemy are after each other trying to, you know, go after each other. And, I really do like the action in this movie. Like, the one issue, I, the only issue I have for, with From Russia With Love, and I know some people are going to be upset, like, really, that's an issue. As great as this movie is, I just think it's a little too long. Like, that's my only issue. Like, 
I, I get it, you know, I get that's how movies were made back then, but, like, I feel like, I feel like at least, you could have at least cut out 10 minutes of this movie, but that's really the only main issue I have with it. Other than that, this is a pretty good movie, but, but yeah, then, you know, as the cat and mouse game goes on throughout the movie, you know, James Bond is trying to escape this bad guy, and I like the fact that this is the first James Bond movie we see helicopters in, like, I really like I really like the shootout scene with the helicopters and stuff like that and uh, and the villain I mentioned in this movie the villain's plan and what's cool about this movie is that the bad guy number one the bad guy number one is working with the Russians to, to try to use a bomb to blow up the whole world and James Bond has to stop him which I thought was a really well done plot. And it's a good way to continue the story from the first film where it's like, okay, number one is out number one is out for revenge just because James Bond killed Dr. No and this bad guy's working for the Russians and stuff like that. I'm like, that's a really good way to continue the story from the first movie. And, you know, I also like the action bits at the end of the movie where where James Bond, he's basically fighting all the bad guys. He goes into the room, he shuts off you know, he, he fights the bad guy, shoots them up, and then James Bond gets to, he basically gets to a dock and stuff like that, and once he's at the dock, once he's at the dock, James Bond, he uses a motorboat, drives away, and then, you know, and then the whole place blows up, which is like during the last 20 minutes of the movie, and I'm like, that was an awesome finale, and yeah. Out of the old, if we're only talking the old James Bond movies, it's probably my favorite, not my favorite James Bond movie, but like probably my favorite ending out of the older James Bond movies and for good reason. And yeah, so yeah, that was my review from Russia with Love. Again, a good, you know, a good movie. I just don't, again, good movie. I just don't make it a YouTube video. Again, again, good movie. Again, good movie. I just do not agree with people who say it's better than the first. But, but yeah, once again, great sequel. Uh, and I definitely cannot wait to review more James Bond movies. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give From Russia with Love... On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give From Russia with Love a 9 out of 10.